What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of Gormo Gang. Welcome back to the well, Festival of Foot Pack to Glory where we are doing very well. As you can see, we've got a few packs saved. We're going to be building packs today. Hopefully there's going to be SBCs at 6pm. There's a lot to do today and also England play. The England shirt is on. We are ready for that game at 2 o'clock. So, in terms of what I'm doing today, I'm going to be obviously recording this part of the video. Then I'll probably go and do a lot of weekend league games. I think I've only played three or four games right now. So about 25 games left to play. And then whilst the England game's on, I'm going to be ripping bronze pack method. Now there's a reason for it because right now everything sells. And I mean everything from every main European nation that's in the new SBCs, they sell. Now if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on to know when I go and post a video. Obviously, yesterday we had two videos, my Euros predictions, and I had a bit of an imprompt of a Gormo Gang recording because I wanted to open packs, I wanted to cover the content from yesterday. And in that, um, without spoiling too much, if you haven't seen it, this is the team that we're running for Weekend League because we went and packed Acuna. Now, this card is fantastic. He's already dropped, since last night, he's already dropped about 100k, which is ridiculous. But hopefully, because of the fact that he can get upgraded, once we start seeing the Argentina games coming through, he's going to be a bit more hyped. So, you know, the next boost, he'll be hyped up again. If Argentina win again, he'll be hyped up. So, another boost in price. So, hopefully, we can make the most of it. But this is the team that I'm going to end up running for Weekend League. The right wing may change. I may put um, the Atta back into the team. I think this is the biggest one. If we can get uh, Diogo Jota done as soon as possible, then we will do it. But right now, in terms of completing him, we're still nowhere near as what I was like yesterday and the day before when he came out. I I've just not got enough in the club to complete him. So hopefully with the packs that we're going to open today, we're going to get a lot. So if you did miss yesterday's video, if you did miss the content over the last few days, this is what came out, brand new league SBCs there for 33 days, and I am wanting to complete Asia every day, which I think is very much possible because it's very easy to do, and I want to complete Europe every other day. So, yesterday it came out, so realistically, today we start the grind, tomorrow I want to complete, and then we go again. So, once we start, obviously, completing SBCs, we're then going to recuperate a lot of the players back in packs so they can go straight back into the pack. So I think in terms of the whole league SBC grind, I'm going to put a pause onto most of the teams. I think the only ones I will still complete are the Premier League and the Bundesliga and obviously probably the Champions League because that's quite easy to do. So we'll have more of the Champions League packs tomorrow. The Bundesliga I might try and start to complete over the next two or three days. And obviously, with all the packs that we're opening, we should be able to start getting this done. And then the Premier League, we have fresh to start again. So, again, probably four or five bigger packs in the next few days. And then from there, all the smaller packs with the players that we'll get, we can put into that. I think the only team that I'll struggle with in the new league SBCs is the England team. Um, obviously, because all of the players are from England in the Premier League, it's going to be a little bit hard to complete. But it shouldn't be too bad. But, yeah. Uh, hopefully we can get a lot from the few packs that we're going to open. I've gone and completed all of the silver ones, so they're submitted. I think altogether we will have 16 teams complete out of the 24. So I didn't really have a lot in the club. I don't actually think my club is as good as what it should be. Um, it, it could just be a lot better, but hopefully we should be fine to go and get a few things back from all of these packs. Who knows what we'll get. A lot of them are untradeable, so... In terms of duplicates, hopefully we don't get anything too much untradeable. Um, Finland is a team that we're close to completing, but like with Hungary and North Macedonia, a lot of these players are either extinct at 10k. I think Hungary players are minimum 10k each. I think I've got two in the club, so we need another three still from bronze packs. North Macedonia, I think, I've, again, I've got two, but they're close to more like 4 or 5k each. So hopefully we can get round to packing them at some point again even if the gold cards it doesn't matter a lot of the teams need higher ratings so i'm more than happy to submit gold cards because it just makes sense to it's what you need to do anyway so hopefully we can get a few of the cards that we need from these packs back hopefully we can get that if not might just be a case of we have to go and pay for like say the 
hungry team. So we go and pay 30k to get the hungry team complete, get the 125k pack, and then start the grind again. Because even though it's cost 30k to do one team, it's the cost of getting the final pack at the end and being able to start doing all the other things again. So who knows what I'll get. Um, obviously, a bit of a longer intro to obviously do all of these packs to submit them. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get something from this. I keep saying hopefully we get something from this because I feel like my pack luck is in right now. Um, I've had some incredible pack luck recently, especially getting Acuna, getting Zachariah in the space of two days of these cards being out and two cards that could get an upgrade. Obviously, Switzerland yesterday only drew, so they haven't got a win yet. Likelihood of Zachariah getting the full three wins in a row, I probably don't think it's going to happen, um, but who knows? You know, it, Switzerland could pull out, I don't know, maybe two wins in the next two games and then go through in the next round and God knows what could happen. It's the Euro, so anything really happens there. But 16 packs, most of these packs are good. Maybe like six packs that aren't the biggest packs and then obviously 10 fairly decent packs. So hopefully we can get something from this. Again, duplicate-wise, I think this could be a bit of maybe we will chop and change right now i don't actually have an sbc to put either of them into um, they again they would have gone into teams but it is what it is i guess we've got to deal with some duplicates at some point with upgrade packs not being out it's a little bit harder to deal with but hopefully tonight for 6 p.m we could get upgrade packs obviously they did it with team of the season so whether they do it with this who knows a nice little tradable pack here again players like the chinese players the korean players all of that's going to uh, at least sell whether or not we use it for one of the SBCs, who knows um next pack we'll do a small electrum try and get rid of all the one rares then we'll go into like the three rares the three rares sorry the six rares and then who knows from there sub americana card not too bad i think the sub and lib grind i'm gonna leave for the time being um again could do it but there's probably no point Again, looking at the prices of these cards, they are ridiculously expensive. If you've got them in the club and you're not planning on grinding, I would just sell as as much as you can. Sell all these cards because, again, they're going to sit in your club. The likelihood is the price is going to start to like decrease in a little a few of the cards. You'll probably see hungry players stay extinct. You'll probably see North Macedonian players close to extinct at some point. But apart from that, you know, Croatian players are selling for again one and a half k each. So there's a lot of cards that are selling right now. I'd make the most of it if you can. If you're not planning on grinding it, it makes sense too. If you're planning on grinding it, it's perfect to obviously get all these packs in. Hopefully, you guys are packing anything. Let me know how's your pack look doing. It's always interesting to see how people's pack look is because obviously I know mine. I see a lot of people's in discords and stuff. And I think this year, I've probably had some of the worst pack look um, that I've ever had. Acuna is now the best card that we've packed this year. And the fact that he's in, what, June that we're packing him. He's only 700k when I packed him, and he's only 94 rated. It just shows the level of what I haven't packed this year. So hopefully, I guess it's towards the end of the year, but we can start to get something into the club. And who knows, maybe it's just EA going, look, it's the end of the year. Here you go, have all of this. Hopefully it is, um, but who knows? Who knows what EA are doing, but in terms of these packs right now, we're not really getting too much. We've got Fernando as an 83 rated, not too bad. A lot of players obviously going into the club. Another duplicate to discard there. It's frustrating discarding the gold ones, but again, until EA release something like... We could have probably done the Bundesliga team there for him, but again, I don't have the players to do it right now because I haven't opened enough silver packs, so again, I'll have to get around to doing that. He can go up there. The Switzerland player, he'll probably sell as well. So that'd be a nice few coins. And then we've got... Do you know what? We've ripped through half of these packs already. And we've hardly got anything. So God knows what we'll get in the last few big packs. Hopefully, we can just get a walkout or something. Any sort of fodder right now, I really could do with to obviously complete Jota. I, I don't know how I'm going to complete him in terms of... Is it going to be a case of I've got to wait right up until 6 p.m. of the day he goes and just pay like 100k for him 
I'll do that if I can. I want to obviously try and use him over the weekend league, but I don't think I'll have him done by the end of tonight. So I guess it'll be next week. We'll probably use him, maybe try him out in objectives in getting the Christian Eriksen card. We're halfway through completing that because of all the games I had to play to get the qualification points for weekend league. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to get around that. We do get a walkout in the rare Electrum, just a walkout. It's going to be an Italian striker. Is that a Mobile? Not too bad. An 87 rated card. Really going to help us out here. Hopefully a Dangler. Yeah, 84 risk go not too bad. Um, we do get Milner and Pickford. Now, I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to go and do England. So, I will go and complete it and I'll be right back. And there we go, guys. England is complete. So, that's going to be another 25k pack. Um, deals with the duplicate cards. Nice and easy to get rid of. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to kind of continue this grind of if we do get, say, two nations and, I don't know, we get a Czech Republic player. We can go and buy the few players for Czech Republic, complete that. I think that's how I'm going to have to do this grind. We do get bored in this pack, which is nice. It's going to be a French centre-back. Is that going to be Longley, please? Or um Titty? Some um Titty. So 83 rated. Again, not amazing, but it will help us. Hopefully EA release another player SBC tonight. We've had three SBCs in the case of two days. So, you know, they're clearly releasing content. They clearly want to release content for this. But who knows? Um, so we've got two mega packs, two 45k packs, and a 25k small rare gold. We do get another walkout here. It's going to be a UCL card, though. It's Spanish CDM. Is that Rodri Busquets? Fantastic. So another 87 rated card in the mega pack. I'm going to keep on sounding like a broken record. A lot of fodder there, though. That's nice. So an 87, an 85, and an 83 is going to help us out a lot. Plus... A lot of high main nation players. So, again, for the grind, it's perfect. Literally couldn't ask for anything more of EA. Um, all of that can go up. We can get rid of all of this. So, a 1,000 coins, again, added just from the stuff that we don't need in the club. The second mega pack, can this be anything big before we maybe go and do Jota? Maybe one of the teams. We could probably get the 86 rated done. I want to try and get the 87 done as soon as possible. Idris Garnagay, not too bad, 84 rated. Um, Soko, meh, not the best behind him. Anything else in duplicates? Not really. We've got Arnold, untradeable hit. Is he tradable? No. Okay, so we'll just have to discard these. Again, I don't think I've got the Wolfsburg team to do. I could have done Dortmund, but again, I'm not really too bothered about the league grind. I'm more bothered about doing the nation league grind because they just seem to be better. Um, we do get bored in this 45k pack. Again, who's it going to be? Brazil, CDM, is that Lucas Leiva? Again, another 84 rated, so it would be very nice for us. No sort of danglers behind him. Now, this could be the problem which we lie in of he's untradeable. Okay. I'm going to go and have to deal with him. So another pause in the video. I'll be back once I've somehow dealt with Lucas Lever. Okay then guys. So to deal with Lucas Lever, we have done the 87 rated. Um, we've obviously got a few players that we've got along the way from doing all these packs. So Immobile, um, Busquets can go in, Pereira, Gay, um, Calajanis go. All of these we've packed. And then Correa's going because of the fact that we've packed the um, Acuna card. We don't need him for the Argentina or for the La Liga team now. So he can go. And then Endombele, obviously one of the 90 plus packs that we got. He doesn't really fit into a team. He's a nice card. I would like to have used him, but we just want Jota into the club. So another 25k pack that we can deal with. And I've also gone and done a gold players pack to deal with Correa and Vendel. So they can all go to the club now. So hopefully this is kind of like the last part of all the duplicates we have to deal with. Unless we get something big. But the problem is I don't really have anything big in the club apart from Van Dyke and Allison. They're the only cards that I have left now. So hopefully we don't get them. Obviously, if we do, sod's law, it's just our luck. Four Premier League players there. Again, very nice. We can deal with them at some point. But a 25k, 45k and a small rare goal pack to deal with to finish off with before. Probably just straight into 6pm content. Um, maybe we'll have a bit of a highlight of how weekend league's gone. But... Again, this part of the video is quite long now. Just more, obviously, running through 
how we're going to do league SBCs, the packs that we're going to do, all of that type of stuff. Um, nothing really too big from packs. Obviously, two walkouts, but not too much else. Just a bit of fodder, which is not too bad. Um, three more duplicates here. Again, all of them are going to be... Mm, we could have done one of the rare election pack SBCs for the daily SBC, but I can't be bothered. But to finish, before we hop into 6pm content, and before I go and start losing every game in weekend league, sod's law, a small rare gold pack hopefully all up is in with this pack. It's not a walkout, it's not bored. Let's go hop into 6pm content. Alright then guys, so hopping into 6pm content now, England have won as well. So that's a nice little bonus added to today. Calvin Phillips masterclass in midfield, you could say so. Yeah, not a bad result for England. Obviously, I think Austria and North Macedonia are all right now for the highlights of the weekend, clearly. And then we've got the Dutch game on later. So I know how I'm talking about the Euros in FIFA, but it's just nice to have a lot of stuff going on right now. Again, the grind in FIFA is going well. So things are looking quite positive this week, but hopefully we've got something new and objectives. Um, I am slowly working through completing Ericsson off, completing Silver Stars and getting a few of the milestones done. So uh, all of this is just from like two games. Um, we're close with Ericsson. I think we've got four more games. So again, I'll get that done at some point, probably Monday um, throughout the day. I'll have that done. Silver Stars, we're also going to get that done. Silver Beast will be done at the same time. So it looks to be nothing in objectives for today. Hopefully we can get some more Icon SBCs. Um, I think some did run out at six o'clock today. So what we have is a brand new car design. Ooh. Uruguay, Uruguay Nation player. It's an 83, 84 and 85 rated team. Um, the reason is build your Uruguay squad with a special festival of football nation player, Jose Jimenez, uh, Jimenez. Sorry, A bit of an interesting concept. Um to why he's got a card, but 90 pace, 90 defending, 92 physical, good passing, um, all in all, 55 balance does let him down a lot, but another card to grind towards, maybe we're going to get something else, we do, we get Xavi and a Garincha, so I wonder if this is to do with the reason they've got, yeah, maybe to do with like the World Cup and more so like your nation theme rather than it being an icon moment for a club. Um, yeah, for Spain. So, Xavi is now ready to complete. So, it's Garincha. It's an 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, and 87. So, actually, fairly reasonable to zoo Xavi. Could be one that we maybe work towards if we need something to grind. And then, Garincha is 83, 84, 84, 85, 86, 86, 87, 87, 88, 88, 89, 89. So, very, very expensive in there for Garincha. Maybe we'll get them done. I'm not 100% sure. Um, we do also have another Festival Foot Challenge. And we do get upgrades. Oh, fantastic. So, 81 plus one of four picks. And then 82 to 88, one of three picks. Be interesting to see what this is. Maybe it's 11 rares. Seven rares. Do you know what? This is the grind we're going to do. We're going to be doing um, the League SBCs. Well, Bronze Packs, Silver Packs into League SBCs. League SBC Golds into either some more main league SBC golds or straight into the player pick. So maybe we'll get one of these done now to kind of finish off today's video with. So again, three more player SBCs, another good day because we've got more rare, um, sorry, not rare cards. That's what we need, but we've got more upgrade packs out. So again, it's going to be more fun this week. A real big grind, it seems, that you can get done on the game right now, which I just think is really good. The fact that you can like sit and earn a lot of cards the fact that you can sit and work and grind towards a lot of cards it just makes it so much more fun to actually play this game right now so props to ea they're um they're slowly kind of pulling it around with the content which does help out quite a bit um in terms of getting the chemistry 30 chem it should be nice and easy on this there we go there's another one of the player picks so we'll open this straight away hopefully we can get something from it obviously we've not packed an fof card yet Still haven't got one here. Diego Carlos, not too bad. The fact that you get a choice of four is actually another bonus. The fact that you've got an extra chance of a different player. So instead of it just being the normal three, now we've got four. Again, not too bad. Um, and I would presume that's all that EA have released. Unless they've maybe done like a South America 
in terms of the leagues doesn't look to be the case but we now have Xavi and Grincha in terms of icons he's there for 91 days wow so a real long time to grind we'll probably have Xavi done by the end of the year then just another card to add and then for today's daily content is upgrades a festival of foot and the uh, Jimenez card so not too bad but we'll go and finish on one of the packs we've got saved from doing the Premier League Um hopefully we can get something from this obviously tomorrow we will try and complete Jota we'll have a lot more packs to do like we did today can this be good EA it is a walkout to finish off with it's not going to be an icon it's not going to be an FOF card it's Portugal Cam it is Bruno Fernandes that's where we're going to leave it for today, for today guys. I'm out. Peace.